The Youth IGF project is a project that we've run with the support of the Nominet Trust. The Internet Governance Forum, IGF, is a multi-stakeholder forum to discuss a common vision of the future of the internet. And one of the things that was said was that young people are critical stakeholders in this process, but they hadn't been involved in it. So we set up the Youth IGF project to take the voice of young people to the IGF. In 2009, we went out and we listened to young people speaking about what they do on the internet. We then ran a workshop in Sharm El Sheikh where we presented the voice and the views of young people. Now, this was really successful. So, ChildNet took the initiative and took us over to Vilnius in 2010, where um, basically we were, there are more of us from the UK, and we were then split up into groups and went round the workshops just like the same way the professionals do. So, this meant that we could actually get stuck in with the conversations, and some of it was quite heated arguments with piracy and um, availability of broadband, free speech, etc. And it was a really excellent opportunity for us to get what we thought across. The Nominet Trust support has been absolutely integral to the Youth IGF project. First in terms of the general encouragement and support we've received from the team, but it's the funding that has made this possible. It made it possible for us to go out and talk to one and a half thousand young people and to collate their views and to have the time to do that meaningfully. And then last year it made it possible for us to run a summer camp, bringing young people down to London to talk to them in advance of the IGF for their accommodation and for their travel, and then to take them to Lithuania to take part in the conference. I live in a rural area in, in England and I think at times you kind of get the blinkers around your eyes because you don't think about the diversity on the net because when I was in Egypt there were issues about maybe not just having the internet in Latin script which wouldn't have even crossed my mind but when they're talking about using the Hebrew characters or any, anything other like that you just think oh yes. Mm -hmm.